Mr. Finney. Mr. Matthews. How do you make people feel that, that they're wanted if they don't recognize it? Do you recognize it? I'm wondering, how is it that someone like you doesn't have a boyfriend? Why, I, I haven't really been looking for a boyfriend. Guess I've just been going through a lot of changes. I'm here to listen. Thanks, that's, that's nice, Gary. So, Sean, how does it Not feel? Sean. How about Janet? No, 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 not, not Janet. Veronica. You've thought about this before, haven't you? Well, a little. If there's anything you need to talk about, my door is always open. I am not here to judge. You having a good time? A little trouble breathing. You're crowding me a bit. Oh, maybe you're just tense. Now, how about I rub your shoulders? You know, I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, but doesn't it feel good? You're not listening to me. <laughs> you touched me. What is wrong with you? I'm just showing you how to play the game. I know how to play the game. I can tell by the way you're dressed. <laughs> I just want to look nice. Well, you do. You see. Maybe you sent him a signal. The only signal I sent him was stop it. I said, don't touch me. Okay, don't like to be touched. Did it ever occur to you that I might be a nice girl? No, what I thought was that you'd be into guys. No, but I guess you're not. I guess you prefer girls. As a matter of fact, I do. How do you make people feel that, that they're wanted if they don't recognize it? You want me to, like, carry your books for you? Oh, thanks. Do you recognize it? Yeah, I do. Well, then tell them, Mr. Matthews. That's what friends are for. You don't have to be blood 